time for some more science. So we have, you've been reading your um, poetry about butterflies and illustrating some butterflies. In your new pack, Miss Miranda put you a picture of a small butterfly. Yes. So we're going to talk about the life cycle of what happens when a butterfly lays an egg. The baby caterpillar comes out. We heard that in the story. He just wants to eat and eat and eat, right? Then he makes his chrysalis, she makes her chrysalis, and then what comes out? A butterfly, yes. And the cycle begins. Metamorphosis, can you say that? Metamorphosis, yes. Adult butterflies lay their eggs on the leaf. And they're small, little circles. These eggs will hatch in a few weeks. Then what comes? Out of the egg comes a baby caterpillar. This thing is so hungry, it just wants to eat and eat and eat. It eats, it eats plants. In fact, it eats most of the time. A caterpillar grows so fast that it must shed its skin. The new skin is underneath the old skin. Here it is. Here's a big grown caterpillar. Looks a little different, right? Well, once it's big enough and fat enough, once it's a full grown caterpillar, it's getting ready to change. It has attached itself to a leaf and it will make a special shell around its body. And here is that special shell. Spins this chrysalis, right? Spinning, 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 spinning the chrysalis. Inside the shell, a wonderful thing is taking place, boys and girls. The caterpillar is changing into a beautiful butterfly. Do you think butterflies are beautiful? Miss Miranda thinks that they are. And one thing that's cool about butterflies is that they're pollinators. They carry, they carry the pollen from plant to plant, okay? Are butterflies insects? Yes, they have three body parts. Head, thorax, abdomen, right? They have six legs, they have two antenna, and they have wings. They also have that cool thing. Let me show you this picture. Here's an up close picture of a butterfly. Here's his eyes and his antenna. Right there is the proboscis. It's rolled up. So this is a picture where it landed right here on the flower. Now, here's the picture of the proboscis where it's going down into the flower to get that nectar. It's like a straw. The more beautiful the flower, the more attracted to it is the butterfly the more attracted the butterfly is to it. So when the flower is beautiful, there goes the butterfly. It knows that there's gonna be beautiful, yummy nectar inside of there, right? Yes, so after the chrysalis, the butterfly broke out and its wings are really wet. They haven't opened up yet. They're kind of what's called limp. The wings have to dry. So they do that and they become larger, <coughs> excuse me, and stronger. The wings, <coughs> excuse me, become larger and stronger. And here is what it looks like. It's ready to fly away. And then soon, boys and girls, the butterfly is going to go find a leaf, lay her eggs, and start all over again. Did you know butterflies use their senses to help them find their food? They use their antenna. These antenna feel and they smell, boys and girls. They don't have noses like we do. So, and they don't have hands like we do. So they use these antenna to feel and smell. And then they use their feet, their legs to taste. What do we use to taste? Our tongue. Well, they use their feet to taste. And their proboscis works like a straw, goes down in the flower, and sucks up what? The nectar, yes. And when, here's a, here it is, there it rolls up there. 
When it's flying from flower to flower, what is it carrying, boys and girls? Pollen. Yes, because that pollen sticks to the butterfly's legs. Yes, the pollen will stick to these legs as it flies from flower to flower because it's hairy, right? Now, what is the thing that looks like a butterfly that flies at night? Yes, moths. Moths fly at night. Now, moths have wing, tail, wing tails, so they kind of come down a little bit. That's how you know it's a moth. See, it has a wing tail. These beautiful moths come out at night. Now, most are called luna or moon moths. Have you ever seen a green luna moth? They can be four inches wide. One time, boys and girls, Miss Miranda was on a vacation, and she was in a cabin, and she looked out, and there was a Luna moth on the tree. It's so beautiful. You will never forget it if you ever see one. Now, there are flowers that bloom at night, boys and girls, so they will pollinate at night, too. Now, butterflies have defenses. They come in all different colors. Butterflies don't taste good to some insects, but I mean to some birds, so they won't be eaten like the monarch. Birds do not like to eat it. Uh, butterflies can also camouflage, and so can moths. So if they land on a tree, they aren't seen, right, by their predators. Now, moths are one or two inches wide, and the smallest, little tiny. They're about the size of a grain of rice. So think about rice when you eat it. The smallest moth is that size. Yes. The atlas moth, here's the atlas moth, it can be 9 to 12 inches wide. That's as big as a bird. That's as big as our ruler, boys and girls, that we use during math time. So some moths can be that big, this big um, atlas moth. Yes. So moths are nocturnal. And butterflies are diurnal. They come out during the day, right? Both are pollinators. Both follow this same cycle where they start with an egg and they continue on. Now, the caterpillars, boys and girls, are all going to look different too. Some are smooth, some are hairy, some have spikes, some, they just look different. They're, but they're all hungry. Scientists observe something. They can tell what the caterpillar is going to turn into because they've studied them for so long. So if you ever find a caterpillar, do some research and see if you can figure out if it's going to turn into a beautiful butterfly, if it's going to turn into a moth. What do you think? Remember that they all follow the life cycle, that they have special senses, their feet taste, their antenna smell, and right? So all those cool things about butterflies and moths. See if you can tell me something cool, metamorphosis, draw me a butterfly, do something boys and girls and I'll see you soon.